So I really cannot believe that Ford blinked. Oh my God, this is like amazing. So all you all knew that my congressman, especially, so I'll tell you about my congressman, but um, vehicle manufacturers have been trying to get AM radio out of vehicles. And so it started off with Tesla because, I mean, Elon Musk, um, I guess, you know, and like Apple got rid of the headphone jack, Elon Musk got rid of AM radio. So what happened was that in the newer cars, it started with the Model X and then the Model 3 and the Model Y don't have AM radio. The Model S, it took some time to get it out of there. But AM radio was in the Model S for a while. I had my old Model S with AM radio and... um I, uh, I used to use it and believe it or not, you know, even though people say, well, you know, EV bad, EV bad, that how EVs are not going to be able to support, uh, AM radio. That's not the truth. I have a video on this channel showing you that I was driving with AM radio in my car at work. Even my old Model S had an AM radio and I used to listen to all of the right and left wing and ethnic uh, talk radio on AM and you know what? It worked. So I'll give you this tweet from Jim Farley from Ford. He said, after speaking with policy leaders about the importance of AM broadcast radio as part of the emergency alert system, we've decided to include it on all 2024 Ford and Lincoln vehicles for any owner. And this is important. This is what interests me the most. Any owners of Ford EVs without AM broadcast capability will offer a software update. Customers can currently listen to AM radio content in a variety of ways in our vehicles, including via streaming, and we will continue to innovate to deliver even better in-vehicle entertainment and emergency notification options in the future. Thanks to our product development and manufacturing teams for their quick response to make this change for our customers. Well, um, I have two words about this. Cautiously optimistic. So, as you know, my congressman has been on a crusade against the auto manufacturers who have been trying to get AM radio out of cars. Josh Gottheimer even went as far as to hold a press event in front of Tesla Paramus, which is in his district. And he basically said, hands off our AM radio, leave it in your cars. Now, Ford did it. Of course, Tesla did not. And I don't know if Tesla will, but... Essentially, Ford said, okay, we reverse our decision. We're going to include AM radio because they were planning to take it out of all the cars except for fleet vehicles, commercial vehicles, which were contractually obligated to put them in. I know on my road trip to Dayton Hamvention, I kind of missed AM radio because everywhere I was going, I saw the TIS, the Traveler's Information Service, showing tune to 1640 AM for traffic conditions. And I couldn't do that because I was driving a Tesla. But um, the most interesting part of this announcement, though, is that where he said for any owners of EVs, of Ford EVs, without AM broadcast capability, we'll offer a software update. So basically what I'm seeing here is that they had the AM capability in the cars but they chose not to enable it or is it that the radios are SDRs and they're putting code to decode on AM? But this is where it gets kind of fuzzy. So if the hardware is already in the cars, why didn't they disable it? Are we buying the excuse that, well, it doesn't work well with EVs? Cause I proved that it does. Or is it that they want to sell subscriptions to some radio service? Like when I sign in to tune in on my Tesla, going back to Tesla, it props up with a notification when you sign in, um, please subscribe. And then in the fine print below, it says continue without subscribing. I continue without subscribing. I'm not paying them money per month to listen to radio. I had Sirius XM a while back and um, I dumped that because, you know, I don't pay for radio anymore. So... Yeah, and then what he says is that it, for the 2024 
vehicles. So does it mean that in 2025 or further down the road, they'll get rid of it? That could be a possibility. And um, they did say that how you can listen via streaming and they'll continue to innovate. So I'm hoping that they keep it around. But I'm, like I said, I'm cautiously optimistic. And um, we'll see how it goes. I don't know if I'll buy a Ford, maybe. But, you know, I'm happy with my Tesla. Uh, I wish I had an AM radio, but you can't win them all. What do you think? Sound of below. I am N2RJ. Peace in 73.